Biggest adjustment's going to be, can he make his split look like a strike and end up for a ball? He spiked too many of them. Might have been nerves. Might have been something that he's worked through in his mechanics in the bullpen. Nice. It's a breaking ball. Tap to first. Freddie Freeman back in for the Dodgers. Feeds Yamamoto for the first out. Right now, the slider is very tight, and he hasn't gone to the splitter, which is a good sign. Look how tight this pitch is in the zone. It was in there the whole time and then fades away against a hitter who loves to swing at those pitches away. That's a big sign for Yamamoto in any game. See what he does to attack a very aggressive hitter. It is a fastball. He does swing, launches a fly ball to deep right field. Betts feeling for the wall in this part, just large enough to hold it. Here it comes. Tatis. Grounds one to third for Max Muncy. Go to second for one. Lux to first. A double play. They finish off this third inning. The first traffic against Yamamoto. And it's win killing. Wipes him clean and ends the inning. We covered how much they paid this young man and what what does that say to him? Over the plate, fly to right. Betts is going back. That's almost an instant replay of Machado's first time up there. Flies to the warning track too well. Tension's killing me, though. Straight three with a fastball. 98 to the knees for the first down of the fifth. Cronenworth pulls one right side. Freddie Freeman, Yoshi Yamamoto with five scoreless innings in a winner take all. Phillips, great fastball you see right there, but also that tight breaking ball that he throws a lot. Tough on right handed hitters. But on the flip side, you got game four. Yeah. String and a miss and a strikeout of Higashioka. Yeah, that looms very recently. And a 20 inning scoreless drought for the Padres offense. Well, a low three quarter, that ball pops out and just kind of tight break across the zone is, is what makes him so tough to hit. Eighth pitch, ground ball, backhand Freeman. Diminished range, had just enough to get to that ball for out number two. On this 2-2, two -two. three straight three with a fastball to the corner. Now this first pitch, that's a great inside sinker. This first pitch should be a slider against aggressive hitter. Phillips strikes out Machado. He's faced 13 hitters in this division series. He's retired all 13. That's Darvish-like right there. What a pitch. The Dodger bullpen keeps on mowing him down. Phillips gets a great hand as Vessia comes in. One nothing game, top of the seventh. Merrill had 24 home runs during the regular season. Another one, two. Back to the fastball to finish him off. No chill from Alex Vessia. No hits from the Padres against this Dodger bullpen. Two perfect innings between Phillips and Vessia. We stretch in a one run game. This time there caught into action earlier than he realized he would be with Vessia leaving the game because of an injury. More likely hitter swings at it. Fastball is scorched to second and caught by Lutz.
nothing LA leads to the ninth inning and Blake Trinan John looks for the save. Now to no one pitch. Solano hits it in the ground testing Hernandez at his new position. Over to another guy who's moved and they connect for the first down of the nine. Ball always finds him. Man. It's amazing right? I mean not an easy play not routine. Especially when you've been in the outfield looking at five balls and line drives. Now you get a grounder. Made it look easy. On a 3 2 from Trinan. Hits it in the air to right field, but playable for Mookie Betts. And the Padres are down to their last job. Dave Roberts and the Dodgers were staring down a third consecutive division series defeat. It was to be a fourth consecutive postseason defeat. They were hoping they were more ready to respond this time. And since their season reached the knife's edge in game three, they've outscored the Padres with all that history hanging over them. Ten to nothing. Tatis, the last hope for the Padres. Ground ball to third. Picked by Hernandez. The Dodgers punch back and head to the championship series. Retired the final 19 Padres in game five. They finished the series with 24 consecutive scoreless innings. And with a shutout in game five, the solo home runs from Kike Hernandez and Teoscar Hernandez, plenty for the Dodgers to get the revenge over the Padres. Yeah, it was the Kike show, really. His home run and two defensive plays in the ninth. They were not routine. A little short hopper down the line that easily could have rolled up his glove. He makes the pick and then the throw to Max Muncie and the realization that they get to stay here and the Mets are the next they get to play. And how about a Los Angeles, New York, New National League Championship Series, a rematch of the 1988 Championship Series. Shohei Otani's dream season continues. His first trip to the postseason continues.